We. So as you guys know, Loba Loba has been the topic of conversation for about a week now because he put out a 42 minute long video explaining why Beanie Man himself is allegedly the one he claims, Loba Loba claims, that killed Bogle. So it has been the topic of discussion. Beanie Man even went as far as going on stage to clear up the rumors and now everybody has been speculating and talking about what he said if he knew he was on camera and all this other stuff but laba laba himself has come forward and he has some stuff to say and this is what he had to say in this clip So as you guys can see, Laba Laba say in the junk, he's he went as far as to talk in the third person and said he didn't know what he was talking about. So guys, I'm gonna give you some reasons why I think Laba Laba is actually lying right now and why I think he was not drunk in those in that video that he was talking about all his allegations and theories. So One of the reasons why I think Laba Laba was not drunk is because of his mannerisms. And I'm going to play a clip, drop some music behind it so you can watch him just while he talked behind some music. I know. You can't be a dance and a bad man at the same time. Mm. Because you are now. Them kill a man in my place, right? Yeah. And the man wanna the man wanna expense the grass there, damn. Yeah. But if you have to have one black now. I both are shot in the grass there here. Scout the man black now. So as you guys saw, he was talking. And a drunk drunk man don't have that type of posture they are sloppy when they're speaking they're sloppy in their mannerism they're sloppy in their movement and as you guys can see in that clip laba laba was not sloppy at all while he was talking at all so you'll be the judge of that do you think he was drunk by the way he was acting or the way he was speaking and his mannerism mannerism another reason why i think laba laba was not drunk in the original clip was Laba Laba went as far as to bust few dance move in that 42 minute long video where he went into grave details and here are the clips when the bus moves it's when dancing the bar rock like it like it reach away where I it from so all right all right yeah, still have it, still have it, and still have it. Yeah. I'm going to show you up the first, my first dance when I, when I was sick of two. Yeah. I, 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 I must have them swim by. 
Yeah, we are 52. Swing by. Yeah, swing by. You're up now. You see the, the, the dance, swing by. You know, we'll go see. And the girl, I mean, it's a mouth soup. We're going to mix up the dance. As you can see, Laba Laba the boss moves, he danced not once but twice in that video. People that are drunk, they can't even walk on a straight line. And that's why they created the DUI test for people that they suspect to be drunk. They make them walk on a straight line. Laba Laba seems capable of walking more than a straight line. He have more coordination than any drunk person that I've ever seen in my life. Because this man is here bussing not one but two dance moves. And another thing we're going to get in the man's interview on stage. Bini man interview on stage, he said a few things which I'm going to revisit. And this is the first clip of what he said. Yes. Laba Laba is a man who doesn't do nothing for him life in my life. The man who moves from boss to boss, people to people. So, that man yeah. understand who... So in that clip you hear Bini Man saying that Laba Laba hasn't done anything with his life. He basically didn't do anything with all the hype, fame and money that he got. And he moved from people to people, boss to boss. And he does not know who paid Laba Laba to do what what he did so obviously laba laba can be bought and sold so do you guys think that laba laba was bought out to keep quiet and not say anything more because he stepped on a few people's toes and some people money is hurting and pockets they're hurt because of everything that's going on in the media right now concerning this case another clip here I've seen a little part I mean, of it. I say I call other people name and all them things. Mm -hmm. Just be careful of what he's doing. Is he? That clip you hear Beanie Man saying that Laba Laba talk about a lot of people in that video because that video was 42 minutes long. And do you think that somebody that he spoke about in that video got to him and told him, my you tap your eyes, you know, because... Yeah, step on some people too. Yeah, mess up some people money. And told him he needs to either come out and apologize or he, something is going to happen to him or his family. What do you guys think happened for Laba Laba to come out and say that he was drunk and he was drinking a bottle of Hennessy and that's why he said what he said? Quite frankly, I don't think he was drunk as I give you two reasons why I don't think he was drunk and give you proof in the video that he put out. Another reason why I don't think he was drunk is because he went into grave details. Drunk people can't remember great details at all. So, that's another reason why I think he wasn't drunk. But comment in the comment section and tell me what you guys think about this story. Do you think Laba Laba is backtracking because somebody got to him that he spoke about in that 42 minute long video? Do you think that Laba Laba is senile and he's just talking a bunch of mess and now he has come to his senses because his video has gone viral? And Beanie Man is even on stage trying to dismiss him and dismiss the allegations do you think that someone played a role in getting laba laba to come back on camera and apologize about everything that he has said comment in the comment section and tell me what you guys think about this story and laba laba's apology don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to your girl the tea is hot the mix up the bubble it they bubble so much the pot they boil over. Okay. See you in the next video. Deuces.
man has it. Yes, yes. Yes, people not have to watch about that one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. They feel free and clear. Yeah, man. All, All right, my brother. Love it, man. That's the best way that to yeah, feel. Man has that respect. But look, I'm happy to say you get that feeling about me and just give to me. I love that. All I like Canada, you know? Yeah. Uh -huh. All of my preach and priest, the poor but they got beat and teach. They might try by and I know them can reach. Go on back up your grandmother, Chris. They might push it on the street and me see it. Go over, they go beat and teach. Beat, beat and teach. So beat and teach. So beat and teach.